Hey, Miles Beckler here, milesbeckler.com, and this is another video about split testing in Facebook. Specifically, we're going to look at how to split test some of the demographic, psychographic, and interests inside of the, like at the ad set level, excuse me, inside of the power editor in the Facebook pay-per-click advertising system. So at this point in the videos, this is probably about video five or six in the series, we've already set up campaigns, we've already set up an ad set, we've set up our ads, we've split tested our ads, and we're moving forward kind of based on the assumption that you've run a split test on your ads a few times, and now you have some ad messaging that's working really well. So you're only going to see one ad in my example account we're looking at here. And we're going to figure out how do we display that ads that, that's working pretty well to your audience, and how do we figure out what segment of your audience does that message work the best with because ultimately what we're trying to figure out here is what segment of your audience are you able to get the lowest cost per customer acquisition um, and the cost being how much it costs in advertising to generate one customer and when you find that best segment and the best messaging you simply just kind of keep running those ads and you keep testing to see if you can beat your ad copy and keep your ads fresh but ultimately when you find that you just want to keep it's like finding a, a vein of gold in in a gold mine when you find that vein of gold you just keep following that vein until it dries up and uh, unfortunately it does dry up at some point that's kind of the law of diminishing returns but that is for another video and it's totally normal and you'll get a lot of legs out of it before it does I'll tell you that much so let me get myself out of the way and let's jump into the power editor here in Facebook and we're gonna go to the ad set level I'm going to go ahead and just tick the box next to the ad set and click edit so we can look at what we're working with for a quick refresher. And we can see that we've got the daily budget is handled in this level. So when we run a split test, it will duplicate the daily budget and we will end up spending twice as much. And obviously you can come in here and change that budget to where both ad sets combined are equivalent to the same amount that you're running. Um, we've got the first thing we've got is our custom audiences. I like to leave the custom audiences because this is a high likelihood segment of uh, Facebook's kind of user base that would have a really high likelihood of being like one of my customers because it's based on my customer data. So generally we want to leave that in place. Uh, the locations I don't normally split test. Gender is definitely an option for you to run a split test. So we could set up one ad campaign to run to men, one ad campaign to run to women, and we could test the results. But ultimately, honestly, I really like this area, split testing our interests, because you might find that one or more of these interests have a very, very, very high likelihood of converting or a very low likelihood of converting. And for this one, what we're going to do is this Tony Robbins uh, segment here, since this is like 2.5 million people, this is a large segment. So what I'm going to do is set up a split test to where we're testing all of these versus Tony Robbins and we would track what's our cost per customer. Are people who like Tony Robbins more likely to purchase our product at a lower price or is it the other individuals that are more likely to purchase our product at a lower price? And the price is the price in ads that I'm spending to display my ad to enough of their user base to get customers. So let's look at tactically how do we do that. So I can slide the edit tray out of the way and in here I'm just going to come up and click duplicate. So it's going to duplicate this ad set and I'm going to keep the same campaign and the first thing you're going to notice is it just adds the copy onto the back and if you look here we now have two ads so it actually duplicated our advertisement for us as well so if you've got six or seven ads in there and you duplicate the ad set you will have 12 to 14 ads instantly all of them will have the copy uh, built into the name so you can see what they are we'll take a quick look at that um, interesting so it doesn't add the copy level so how how do you distinguish right well the easy way is in here at our ad set level we have the ad set has the copy and see we've got the checkbox we click let's see here we want to click apply so it applies to this ad set and then it will keep it checked on this next line. So I'm going to go ahead and just change this to copy just to add that there so I know what I'm working with and I'm coming back to my ad set to actually work in the ad set level. So the copy I want to run, we'll run the copy for Tony Robbins. So what I do is I come down here 
and I am going to use the exclude portion, and I'm going to exclude people who match Dale Carnegie. And the reason I'm excluding these, this is really important because I want to make sure, because there could be overlap in the audience, and I don't want to compete with myself on the ad set level. So I'm going to exclude everyone from this who matches up with that. And John, let's see, Maxwell automatically pulls that up, and then I delete it from here. And I'm not going to finish this because I did I did add a bunch of them, right? But you will want to definitely go through and take every single one that you're removing for the split test. And one more. We want to exclude them. And what ultimately will end up happening is we're going to have a list here that's only going to have Tony Robbins, right? Because this is our Tony Robbins segment that I am testing. And... I'm going to delete everything, and we're going to pretend that I also added everything down here to be excluded. Um, let the ad manager or the power editor catch up. Perfect. So now what we have here is Tony Robbins with all of the people excluded that were already up there. And what that essentially does is it makes sure there's no overlap. So when I go over to my next one, I'm going to do the exact reverse. And I can be sure that I'm not accidentally displaying to some of these people on the other one, or excuse me, on this one, and I'm only showing it to Tony Robbins, right? We don't want overlap in our audiences. We want them to be very, very specifically unique. That way we can, again, have a very clear understanding of who's taking the action. So this, I'm going to put TR, since this is Tony Robbins. You could also just do Robbins at the interest level, and that is so I know who is actually focused on in this one. And... Um, Again, you can see that Tony Robbins is the one that I am focusing on, and I'm excluding everyone else. So let's go over here to the next ad set, and what we will end up doing in this one is removing Tony Robbins, right, because he's in the first one, and we want to exclude Tony Robbins. So we're now excluding anyone who likes Tony Robbins because they're in my other ad set and I don't need them to be in both ad sets. So if you notice what happened is the potential reach in this one's at 43,000 and the potential reach in this one is at 53,000. So we have pretty much the same amount of people in both of them, right? But it's now split to where people who like Tony Robbins are being displayed and then people who like all, everyone else are being displayed. And we are getting data on which of those segments is going to, how much does it cost to create a new customer with our ads for each of those segments. And then I'm going to put here, exclude Robbins. So now I've noted to myself at the ad set name. So when we're getting these results and I'm seeing what the cost per customer is through my kind of through my results from running the campaign, I'll be able to see very clearly which one I'm getting a better price on. And, you know, we might think I, I could kind of make an argument for both. Right. So people who like Tony Robbins, they they're willing to spend more because Tony Robbins is notoriously high priced. Um, he's a, a high value guy. So they maybe have more of a budget. They maybe have more. Um, discretionary or disposable income therefore they might be the ones who are going to purchase from me more often but then again the opposite could be said very easily is the Tony Robbins people are already branded to Tony Robbins and the ones that exclude Tony Robbins and who like Napoleon Hill and Dale Carnegie who have been who passed away years ago and no longer on this earth maybe they're looking for a new personal development person and we don't have to try to make this decision ourselves we don't have to try to understand this ourselves and and kind of declare this is the way it's going to work because we never know for sure this allows us to set it up in a way that the data shows us what works best and again really really important to be leaving your ads the exact same for both of the ad sets right remember we change one thing as we covered in the last video when we split test our ads we only change one thing so we want to leave the ads and we changed one thing which is who in the ad set level we're displaying to and now this is an advanced again kind of split testing in Facebook 
methodology and you would let this run for 500 to 1000 new opt-ins and you would be able to see definitively which one of those interests works better and again you don't have to do this with just the interests you can do this with the gender you can do this with a number of different um, segments if you will or um, kind of segments of your audience I guess is a good way of putting it and um, one other thing just to reiterate we did cover this briefly in the beginning is now we have two $30 budgets uh, two $30 campaigns so by doing this I'm now gonna spend $60 per day based on what I've got created if you only want to continue at $30 per day you would just change these each to $15 each and what that's gonna do is it would work out to be a total of $30 between the two of them. Um, super simple stuff. Just want to make sure you're aware and we don't want to um, accidentally double up your budget without expecting it because that's no fun when you have those oops moments. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you work it. So the trick to the game in many senses is Take your time with your split tests and be sure that when you're doing your split tests, you're testing one thing at a time that's so direly important and that you're letting them run for two weeks and at best you want a thousand actions to be taken. 500 actions to be taken is enough to start to get some statistical reliability. But if you're only getting 50 conversion, 50 opt-ins or 100 opt-ins, you really don't have enough solid data to make a decision yet. So run your split tests for two weeks and then make sure you see upwards of 500 to 1,000 conversions, whether that's the opt-in. At this level, we could even just track to the opt-in um, who's opting in more often as long as we know the lifetime value of our subscribers. So thank you very much for watching this video about Facebook split testing inside of the power editor we've we've started simple in these videos if you haven't caught those go back to the playlist on Facebook advertising and we've taken it to a pretty complex level here you don't need to be going to this level right away in your Facebook advertising with Facebook paid advertising um, but I did want to make sure this was out there in case you are at the level where you've been running ads successfully for a while and you're wondering what that next level is how do you how do you kind of dial it or scale your ad campaigns in Facebook up to the next level this is definitely one of those ways to find the most interested audience so you could spend more money on those who are most interested in becoming customers for you again I'm Miles Beckler with milesbeckler.com give me a thumbs up on the video here in YouTube if you enjoyed this uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions and go ahead and subscribe if you would like to get the next videos as they come available thanks again for your time